Hello. Hi. How are you guys doing? All right. How are you? Great. Really doing great. Thank you for asking, Jim. Eric, how you doing, man? Good. How are you, Robert? How are you, coach? <laughs> Pretty good. You guys ready to um, test your your knowledge <laughs> and your motor skills? I'm, I'm, yes, I am. <laughs> good answer, Jim. <laughs> how about you, Eric? I sure am. Am I set up here? My audio is working good. Yeah. Hey, Groovy, let's do a facilities check in. All right. Facilities check in. Do we have privacy? Oh, yeah. All right. Do we have one of these? Yep, I got one here. Great. Do we have um, vocalist studio, four pillars of singing logged in, ready to go so you can get to your content? Yes. Isn't yes, me? I do. All right. Very cool. Do we have one of these? I do not. Shame on you, Eric. <laughs> do you have one available that you can plug in quickly without it being disruptive and um, taking too much time? I don't. I'm not sure about my neighbors in this situation if they would hear it through the room, but I don't have one immediately available. In regards to the neighbors, there's only one way to find out. <laughs> Go for it, huh? <laughs> I'm sure if there's an issue, you'll be hearing about it. Right, right, right. All right. So in our next sesh, if you can, uh, mic up a bit, okay? It doesn't have to be fancy. It doesn't have to be loud. But we want to be able to put one of these in our hands. It's a tool of our trade. Um, it helps you to hear things a little better from time to time um, and other cool benefits. It just makes training more fun. I think that's the most important. Okay. Okay? Yeah. All right. Very cool. Um, on our last session, I believe we... Um, Oh, you come back, come back to pop up. Okay, I believe that uh, we spent a lot of time with Eric. Is that is that not? Uh, I think I think that's fair. Is that fair to say, Jim? Um, no, we, we spent some time with me as well. Uh, it was the session. It was two months ago that that we we. It was a lot of time with Eric. Yeah, the first that was the first session. Two sessions ago, pretty much the whole session was with me. I think, which was great, great for me. And then, yeah, yesterday was a, uh, last week was last month was a bit more share but we certainly spent time with me last session as well yeah okay great thanks guys thanks for the reminder okay mm -hmm. um then uh let's just do let's just do a little um report in ski um we'll go with um seniority first jim um how's your voice how are things uh, I, I, I just i just tried to sing that beatles thing Cause I couldn't stand the pain, which isn't great, but it's better than it's been. Cause I couldn't stand the pain. Do you possibly have a track? Uh, by the way, are you guys warmed up? Did you do some warming up and things? Did you do some things? Did you stretch it all out? Yeah. 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 I'm warm. Yeah. Okay. Cool, Jim. What did you do to warm up? I did. Um, I, I, I start with uh, the, the exercise track and track recording from the website, from your website. Yeah. I, I do the three different types of tracking. Uh, that takes about three, three minutes. Then I take a break for a minute. And, and then I go to, uh, I start about here and I go. Uh, And I do that with the three tongue positions. Then I do staccato. Back down, three positions. Then I do glissandos with the three positions. Then I rest. Then I go up a half step and I start over again. All right, Jim. Okay. Um, all right, Jim, why don't you just... Uh... Why don't you just, um, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll accompany, okay, and just give us, um, no, Jim, do your routine. 
let's just watch you do it for about for about five or ten minutes, okay? Oh, okay. You want, you want me to that. start? What I just heard was um, some good cry. Some, okay. Some, there's good thinning on that, and I thought, and I and I heard you sort of, you know, getting through the passaggio on those little on those little nuggets that you just gave us, which was not an easy thing to do, which is cool. Um, Jim, do your do your shtick, and let's just see how it goes. Okay, I don't want to always tell you what to do. I want to be able to see what you're going to do, and that's okay. a lot more about what you're going to do. So I'll, I'll, this is about like, say five minutes after I've, I'm, I'm, in, I'm like, I'll start from like the five minute mark, meaning I've done, I've done the basic track of track with your recording. And then I go to the keyboard and then I go up a half step. So now I'm Just here. Do it. Just do it. Okay. Then I go to tongue up tongue down take a break for a minute is that noise coming from my studio? Oh, maybe it was. All right. Um, then I go to staccato. Same idea, but with staccato. Start, start with mouth closed, tongue down. All right, that's clever. I, I mean, I think that's okay. I think that's okay. So let's so so let's 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 in, let's just get creative here with the vocalese. All right. Um, one thing I would one thing I would mention is that first little major scale that you were doing. Um, I think I think it's okay. I, mean, I kind of like your the, idea. The, yeah, yeah, the yeah. chromatic the chromatic scale. Yeah, yeah. Was that chromatic? Okay. All right. Yeah. So um, I thought that was okay. I like to hear you do it with some legato. I like to hear you do it with um, some fluidity between those notes. So it's not only jabbing at it a little bit. It has a has has its own sort of interesting benefits. But I like to hear you just. Can you do that with some legato? Yeah, I'll do. I'll do the go. Then after I do the staccato, I go to the the, the sirens. Yep. Okay. All right. And, and and just to explain, the only the reason I was going to staccato as a warm up is because sometimes I have trouble grabbing. Like it feels like the vocal folds are not grabbing the note right at the beginning, and that's why I was like, okay, let me just practice grabbing it, makes sense. letting go, grabbing. You know, that makes sense. That makes sense. Um, that that little, it's not a glottal attack, but that little sort of poke vibe that's so that you're leaning into it a little bit has some similar subtle subtle subtleties about it that would be similar to sort of a more aggressive uh, attack and release onset into a vowel okay um which has the effect of helping you to get your vocal folds to compress and sort of waking up some things provided that you do it properly with what what is it the what is the what is the foundation that we need if we're going to do aggressive onsets like a glottal attacks to ensure that everything is working for us and we don't fatigue ourselves or hurt ourselves. Jim? Um, cry mode, lower larynx, keep the larynx low. That's right. Good. All right. Um, I'll get, I'm, I'm going to accompany you, Jim. We're going to do um, melodic fifths. Okay. Okay. Uh, with, with the, uh, with the same, uh, the, the tracking. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Jim, Jim, what I want to do, let's just track and release. Okay. And let's just do, let's just do a siren. Okay. So you'll go, okay. I'm going to start on a G sharp. Okay. Yes. And, and um, one breath. Just track it and release it on a, on a melodic fifth. Ready? Okay. Jim, and go. And then start start again. Yeah, one breath. 
on one breath. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I need to get through that a little bit faster, okay? Oh, okay. All right. And, and then, on regards to whimpering like a puppy on, on, on the cry, on thinning position, the higher we go in regards to cry mode, the higher we go, the harder we cry. <laughs> right. Yes. Okay. <laughs> to the tonic and release the vowel all right gotcha. and then just kind of releasing some sort of sloppy thing along the way don't do that gotcha and on the tonic and you release the vowel and then you go ready and um. Can you give us less facial output when you go to your vowel? It's not really me, like less, less pain in your, or less, less of a sort of a funky look. That's just, yes. that's just sort of a, a, an unconscious thing. You don't need that. You know, okay. You remove that stuff. Look okay. at yourself in the monitor. Look at yourself in the monitor on this, on this Jetson system. Okay. All right. Yes. All right. And, 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 and just, do I look like I'm, just you know sniff pneumonia or do i you know, yes or no well i do i don't need to do that just re relax and keep and te keep vocalizing you'll realize oh i really don't need to like grimace when i'm when okay I'm, when you really don't okay and that's part of the part of chilling stuff out all right ready okay okay Shit, sorry ready and jim go boom i'm um, oh, sorry let me do it again um, Ready and um, Compression today, Jim. Yeah, it was feeling it was feeling pretty good today. Great. And Eric, if I were you, I'd be on mute and I'd be doing it with us behind the scenes. You can get to that right. Just go ahead and do it. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll bring you on soon. Ready, Anski. All right, so let's go to this A on top, Jim. Jim, stay focused, please. Is yeah. A on top, all right. Jim, attack and release onset. Leverage your tongue against the back of your bottom teeth. Horizontal empêcheur, monsieur. Horizontal empêcheur, monsieur. And you got, I say A for God's sake, that's G. Okay, ready? And A! 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 All right, Jim, let's. Wake up the movements there. Here we go. Five. Five attack and release on such gym. Ready? And sure. And then a the a descending glissando. Hey, so if you're at a cocktail party and people ask you about your training. And they say, well, you do, do you do, do you do slidey slides? Do you do slides? What is it? What, what do you say, Jim? What do you say? Uh, we prefer to call them glissandos. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>
<laughs> you get an A plus, Jim. That's dope. That's really great. That was kind of hard. I wasn't sure you were going to get that. But I, but I guess you and I have been hanging out a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can only get that if you've been hanging with me a lot. Yes, deglissando. Deglissando. All right. Um, an ascending glissando, please. Oh, no, no, no. We're doing the glottal attack. So let's go to the G sharp. Let me go first, right? By the way, how's my audio? Am I, is it? Is it oh, it's good. It's good. All right, good. Ready? And we got. Hey, 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 hey. Let's, let's, let, let, let's analyze what we just heard there a little bit and what we saw, okay? Both of you guys. So I want to bring Eric. Eric, go ahead and unmute real quick since you're still a little bit more new. And I know you had the book in the course, so I'm going to, I hope that you, if I say to you, Eric, what is the phonation package? Do you feel like you can answer that more or less accurately, the phonation package? Um, I'm not positive that I can. I, I, I did certainly know the term and have heard the term. I don't know if it has to do with the, the embouchure, if cry mode is part of it, and the, and the product, the release of the vowel. You're on the right path. You're on the right path. Um, all, the, all those things and everything else. Okay? Okay. Um, Jim? Yes. Help your friend here. Um, what is an onset package, please? Okay. I believe uh, uh, embouchure uh, tongue placement which would be uh, uh, to keep the larynx down by anchoring out, the tongue. Come out, you're doing fine. You're both doing fine. Let me help you with that. An okay. On, an onset package is the sum total of all of the physical, acoustic, and in some cases, mental elements and components that are all combined simultaneously at the same time to produce our phonation, our sound. Okay, it's all the, in some sense, it's all the techniques and the, and the visualization, all the stuff that we learn all happening at once because we're because you very much feel like you're multitasking don't you eric yes okay so the way we chill out the, the the sensation of being overwhelmed and multitasking with all these things we have to remember um is we is we drop it into what we call an onset package okay and then we can then, we, then once it's in the package we can then think about it in terms of workflows all right okay mm -hmm. Um, I don't want to get too much in the weeds here, or, or, um, but uh, uh, in your phonation package, so an onset package is just an onset. We're just poking one note. Nah, that's an onset package. A phonation package is an onset package on the move. All right, onset, one note. So the full calibration of technical components, physical, acoustic, and mental, at one time, one note, one note not changing the frequency. That's an onset package. I gave you a package. It's got like 12 components in it, all right? But if I were to do a siren on this, and go up on it, and I put it on the move, it becomes a phonation package. It has to be, it can't be an onset package anymore when it starts moving, right? Because it's no longer an onset. So I had to give it another name and call it a phonation package. All right? But, okay. um, so just reviewing that, let's get back to your glottal attacks. I thought that was that was good. In that in that glottal attack on the G, Jim, I will do it again, please, guys, watch. Hey, 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 What do you hear at the beginning of that onset, Eric? What do you hear? In my, in my onset package, tell me what you hear and what do you see? Uh, I hear a tiny bit of, of an H sound, the onset with, uh, with a little bit of air. Okay, okay. okay. You hear a little bit, you hear, you hear a, a, a split second of some respiratory bleed through the glottis. That's fine. Yes, sir, I'm softening that, I'm softening that, uh, that uh, onset a little bit by putting a little bit of wind in there. Yep, something I was just talking to uh, Mark Baxter about recently. Um, I think it was yesterday. Uh, what else? What else do you hear? Well, then, then you're going right into the vowel A, as okay, in state yep. and eggs. Yep, I have a vowel. That's right. Anything else? It's not a trick question. There's probably 12 things. You just, just give me five. Um. 
Well, I hear the single sustained note. Okay. Not moving anywhere. It's okay. it's and that's great. That's great. So let me help you with that particular one. Let's call mm -hmm. that intonation. Okay. A single sustained note. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Um, I, my cat can do a single sustained note, right? Mm -hmm. But what might be a little bit tricky is keeping it in pitch, right? So uh -huh. I'm in pitch. I mean, in, my intonation is was at least okay. All right. And what else? Um, well, then I'm hearing a tonal quality, which has to do with the resonance in your right. face. So, yeah, it's all great. So what I'm saying, guys, is open up your situational awareness on what you're doing when you're making sounds. All right. And I want to invite you to be thinking about it in terms of three buckets. Physical, that's cry mode, the embouchure, the larynx dampening, the tongue leveraging. There's you know, probably six or seven good ones that we use. Acoustic, where we talked about the acoustic modes in our last lesson, I believe we were talking about how the resonance can uh, certain vowels and resonance sort of default in certain positions and um, uh, Jim, what are the three acoustic mode positions, please. Uh, I believe curved, which is back. Oh, hang on, Jim, Jim, hang on, hang on. Don't start with I believe. Okay. Just tell me what it is, Jim. You've been curved. Doing yeah, uh, yeah. Be authoritative, Jim, please. Thank you. Okay, please. curbed, which is back. Yes. Uh, neutral, and and forward, which was what you were using. Fantastic, great, okay. Eric. Remember when we went through that in our last lesson? We talked about um, these categories of resonance and how they sort of can be certain vowels, certain sound colors, certain vowels by default sit in a, in a in a back neutral or forward position, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Great. Great. Now for training and singing, which of the three acoustic modes do we, it's not always the case, but do we really prefer, especially for training, which do we prefer, Eric? Um, the one going forward. Which is called what? Well, it's not curving, right? Curving is the back one. Um, I'm not sure what the frontal one is called. You got your curbing, you got your neutral, and you got your mm hmm. Mm hmm. Edge? <laughs> edging. <laughs> I knew you knew that. Yes, edging. All right. So when we release from the nasal, from the semi occluded phonation, right, we're going to release into an eight vowel. We could, we could train on different vowels, but A is just really has a lot of additional benefits, especially for people that are, um, you know, beginners and intermediates and that sort of thing. Um, and make sure that that resonance is forward. All right, Jim. Okay. So now guys watch, I give to thee an onset package. Okay. I have an, a horizontal on short. That's good. My pitch is going to be good. Um, I'm going to have a little whimper at the top. You're going to hear a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a tenth of a second. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is a symptom of the vocal folds being thinned out. It's a symptom. It's 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 a signal that's broadcasting to you guys. I'm in cry mode. Okay. I'm also not like staring at my shoestrings. My head is up. My posture is good. Let's do it one more time, Jim. Then you're gonna do it. You got G, E four, and Jim. What's the special, Eric? I mentioned this once before. What's the special thing about G four? I. Uh, well, that's that's right in the range of where the uh, the break is for men. I think it's a little higher than it, though. It's a little higher. That's a tough question. Um, uh, this is a purely just subjective. G four is the most beautiful note in a man's voice. Uh, yeah, that's right. You did say that. Not too low. Not too high. All right. Here we go. Hey! 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 Jim, it's your turn. Here we go. You're doing great, Jim. Glottal tax. Yep, that's fine. All right, Jim. G sharp, five glottal tax, please. Ready and. Ah. 
<laughs> fell apart. Ah, yeah. You turn gem. <laughs> Jim, Jim, come at it more aggressively. Okay. Look, watch me. Watch me. Hey! 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 From the top down. Hey! Hey! Okay. And anchor your tongue. Anchor your tongue, please. Ready, Jim? Go. Hey! 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 Yeah, I can't hold it. It's yeah, it's that, that flippy the flip thing. Well, yeah, you know, we're up there for you, but but it but um, how does it feel? Well, it, this today th that's the first time that I've just walked over to the keyboard and sang that Beatles line, which goes up to a A four, and and without having the voice completely, you know. Yeah, that was decent, Jim. Let's hear it. Yeah. So we sort of, okay. sort of, sort of, you know, move move things around a little bit. Um, the, the, go ahead and give it another try, and and get aggressive with it, Jim. Let's get the let's get the okay. compression going. Jim, your song, your song, Jim, your songs. Cause I, cause I couldn't stand the pain. Cause I couldn't stand the pain. Ah. Now slow that hey, down, Jim. Slow that I'm down. sorry. Cause I couldn't stand the pain. Slow it down so you can figure it out. Slow it down. Slow down the riff, Jim. Eric, we're, we're going yes. to with you here real quick. Hey, I'm sorry. Cause I could. Dan, stand the pain. Cause I could, could. We need to work on that vowel. Could, could. You need to narrow that vowel, Jim. Could. Cause I could. No, 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 no. No, no. That's, that's. Could. We need. Get on top, narrow it, thin. Cut, cut. That's a cut. Uh, 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 uh. Cut, cut, cut. There you go. There you go. Cause I couldn't stand the. Eric, I'm going to stay with him just a little bit longer because I'm, I feel like I'm getting something here in terms of narrowing those vowels. Okay, real quick, and we've we've worked. So hard to, to, to <laughs> like Jim's sort of a special case. So I want to get so all right. So let's yeah, special needs. He's a, he's a special needs kid. Okay. <laughs> Cause I could could could. Cause I could could could. Dead dead dead. It's not. It's, a, it's, a, it's not. Good dead, good dead. It's not gonna work. Narrow that valve. Good dead, good, good dead. Stand the pain. Good dead, good dead, good dead. Good dead, good dead. Good dad, good dad. There it is. Good dad. It's kind of tricky, of course, because it's an F sharp, of course. Good dad. Listen to me. Good dad. It's 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 a, that is a that is a cocktail of uh and uh and it's got a, it's got a little, little bit of a. It's got a lot of uh, a little bit of a, and a touch of ah, and you get dead, good dead, good dead. Much better, much better. Good dead, stand the pain. Right. Stay anchored and narrowed all.
the way up on that. Could it stand the pain? Could it stand the pain? Could it stand the pain? Ah! On the, you're going to open up a little bit more. Ba, 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 ba. To the narrow position. So you're gonna open, you're gonna open up, and then back to the narrow position. You got the pain, the pain, the, the, the pain, the pain. Shake it off, shake it off, shake it off. All right. Blah, 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 blah. Yep, that's right. Be, be, be. Do it again, do it a couple times, and then Eric, you're in. Because I couldn't stand the pain. Jim, I want you to practice this with more narrow positions. Okay. When we narrow the vowels, I mean, when we narrow the vowels, I'm narrowing uh, here in the sort of the lips and the, the, the visible elements of the upper vocal track. Um, and um, we also are narrowing in areas where we can't see it, all right? So like here in the musculature and around in the back of the tongue and all of that, okay? So the whole, the whole mechanism narrows a little bit. When we narrow the vowels, one of the cool things, well, extra benefits we get from that is it creates stability, all right? It, it, it makes the vowel and the musculature, there's sympathetic movements that happen when you narrow the vowel. And some of that is that the, that the, the musculature stabilizes when you narrow. Okay. Are you, are you, are you, are you tracking me, Jim? On this? Yes. On yes. Which I mean, then, I could, which then gets rid of the squirreliness. All right. And it allows you to have stability. No, it, it feels different. It feels stronger. It feels yeah. more predictable. And, yeah. and, and, and it doesn't feel floppy. Like there's a floppy. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Generally speaking, if we go and if we start, if we start kind of splatting and going too wide, too wide on our vowels on, per the pitch, just not the right position, it's exactly right, Jim. What happens is things start getting sort of a little bit sloppy and loose and squirrely. I want you to practice narrowing, okay? So the next time we get together, um, I think you're gonna feel, like you said, you can feel it sort of. Like, yeah. And, and it's not fatigue, it's, it's a different, it's a kind of feeling, it's a muscular feeling that you know intrinsically, you just know instinctively that it's right. Like it's just sort of, it's sort of just, right, Jim? It just sort of, like, like it feels like it sits down and puts the seatbelt on. Yeah, it, it felt like almost, like when I do get the notes right, it almost feels like it's a horn, like like I'm like it's a, like blowing into a horn where the horn just goes like just. It yeah, does. I don't yeah. know if that makes any sense, but like all of a sudden, like everything's lined up and it starts vibrating and making the right noise. That's right. Whereas, that's right. whereas yeah. when something's off, like that floppy, sloppy thing stuff starts happening but but anyway that so i so i so what is a way to remember to narrow like what's is there like a, a, a like a hint or a trick like what is like narrowing a vowel like like uh for me to remember when i get off zoom um go to the book and there's a table there that shows you the best narrowing vowels oh okay that has all the the, the the crazy diagram with all the different vowels and the colors many crazy diagrams but one of them yes is yeah okay vowels. okay okay i got the book the book is right there <laughs> yeah, yeah write the, write this down ah shit. uh go to the book jim i, I just want to i i want to i want to get to eric and i and i want you to also just sort of Go find the answer yourself to some extent, right? Go dig it out. Okay, yeah, go to your vowels. All right, cool. All right, Eric, how are things going? You've been training, you've been doing things. Um, what's 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 the word? Yeah, so um, 
I generally warm up with the, the track and track and track and release and then the release and sustain. <clears throat> and then I sort of, sometimes after, after doing that, what I'll often do uh, is I'll play, I'll play, sit at the piano and I'll play chords and sort of like combining this work with um, improvising and composing. I'll just sing notes and my my notes feel stronger and yeah. I don't I've got some questions as if whether I'm doing the right thing. I'm not usually getting into words. I'm just doing certain tones, but but you know I like the direction that the tones are going in and they feel more solid than yeah than they would pass. All right. All right, that's great. Then then how about just sort of going into your routine um and just let me just see what you're doing and what i will do is I'll, we'll use my ears and i'll get you tuned up and straightened out in no time all right okay sounds okay. great cool so start with the track and track warming up that's a great idea yep let's do that let's do that okay. so so hang on hang on so we're gonna do track and track and we're we're preparing to do it so remember guys i said situational awareness right we're preparing to do track and track. Are we, what we don't want to do is get in the habit of just jumping into something and just making vocal sounds and not being mindful of our phonation package, the onset package, the techniques and the things that we're, that we have to multitask. By the way, that multitasking um, sensation that you're experiencing, Eric, when you're doing this will go away. Okay. It does eventually go away. And one day you'll just be thinking about it for, about a month, about six weeks. And then one day, about six weeks from now, I just be like, wow, I'm jumped right in and my my embouchure, my foul, my cry, my edging vowel, you know, everything is just is sounds great. I feel great. And and you'll you'll have an aha moment and you realize, oh, you know what? I haven't actually also been I haven't been thinking about my onset package. Right? You may want to go back to that for training to tune yourself up and work on things, or maybe you're working on a part. You can use that that idea to kind of you know, what's wrong with this part in this song that I'm writing? It's not right. Let me let me look at my vowel. Let me look at my my embouchure. Um, is my larynx in the right position? Can, maybe if I leverage my tongue, would that help? Am I am I pitchy? Does this make sense? Yes. Okay. Yes. Great. Please do your thing then. Let's see what's going on. Okay. Mm -hmm. That does not have enough puppy whimper in it. And it's yeah. going to catch up. It's going to catch up to you. Yeah. Okay. You're going right. to just like just slamming into a blunt wall. You've got to thin out and get and get some um, agility. Go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. thin, the higher you go, the more you thin out. That's really great, Eric. Now when you get the, this next one, you get to that top note. So hold it and sustain for me, please, and just sit on it. And just just hold that and just rub it in. All right, go. Do that again, please. But ask yourself before you do this. Ask yourself. All right, I'll give you a beat. All right, that was that's good. How could how how can you make it better? Go to the onset package, go to the elements. How could you maybe make that better? There's probably um, 13 different things you could, you could think about. Okay, okay. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. 
That was a stronger phonation. We heard it. And, and, and I think you heard it and you felt it. So this is the fun part. What were you thinking that made that just a little bit more stable? Um, I thought more of, the wimp, more of the whimper in the beginning. Uh -huh. uh, I thought mentally just in terms of, I don't know if it's right to say holding that note, but sort of letting it continue to go out. Uh -huh. And in, in, in order to do that, I probably took a little more breath in the beginning. Good. You improved your respiration, you improved the thinning of the vocal folds, and you improved your mental positions. You, you improved you improved two physical elements in your phonation package and one mental element. Okay. And and I and I, and as I said, and I and, and you said and I visualized the sound traveling. That is excellent visualization. All right. So something in the head game of singing and training. One of the things that's really super helpful is, and Maestro Kyle used to tell me that, and he's, uh, you know, he trained Chris Cornell and Jeff Tate and Ann Wilson and all these guys, right? So um, he, uh, Maestro Kyle would say, sing away from yourself to something. Mm -hmm. To something. Okay. Now that something could be anything. It could be a big audience. It could be, if you're training, it could be just out the window at the fire hydrant or a car across the street. It could be, if you're in your room, it could be a dot on the, on the, on the wall. It doesn't matter. Just sing away from yourself to something, okay? Get out of this and start listening to yourself in the environment, all right? Okay. So that's... That's a good idea, Eric. Let's continue with what you're doing. Go ahead and do it again, please. Okay. Excellent. That's that's decent. That is your are your lips vibrating? Lips vibrating and tickling a little bit? Um somewhat, but but when I saw you gesturing that to me and I increased it, then I certainly felt more. Okay, yeah. I want you to put more smirky smirk in that nasal. Okay, mm -hmm. more smirky mm -hmm. smirk. And let's do it again. And I want you to increase the sense of vibration or sound energy in your lips. You'll feel it because it tickles. Go ahead. Okay. <sighs> Good. Did you feel a little bit more uh, vibration in your lips? You should have. Yes. Yes, I did. And then it was interesting because while adding, adding a little bit of pressure to try to feel it in my lips, I think that started to add tension in my throat. And then I, re I tried to remind myself of crime mode to keep the, that, the throat relaxed while keeping the tension on the uh, lips. There you go. Yeah. There you go. That's right. If you feel tension creep coming in, there's there's several things you can do, and there's several things that might be causing that. Your vow might be wrong, um, other things, but the first thing you want to go to is thin, thin out. Okay. That's the first go to, always, and typically okay. like eight out of ten times, that just sort of takes the rest of the elements in the in the phonation package and just sort of know, gets everything else lined up. As long as you have that 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 vocal fold physical foundation set, then everything else sort of like the physics and the sound and everything just suddenly shapes up and gets gets put where it needs to be to do this. All right. I really liked what you're doing. What I'd like to do is um, ask you to roll up to that same note. What is it? It's a oh, that guy. Okay. F sharp. F sharp, most difficult note in a man's voice to sing. Okay. F sharp four. All right. You can roll up to that F sharp four, and 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 you're gonna track. You're gonna track up to that F sharp four, and then you're going to release. You're going okay. to release what? We're releasing. What are we releasing, Eric? We're releasing a. Well, releasing the product. Yes. Yes. 
That's a great answer. We're releasing the product. And the product consists of what? Give me five things. The phonation, the phonation package, which is the vowel. Yes. Eh. It's um, the oh, mental. Oh, wait a minute. What's that vowel? What's the vowel? A. a, a. There you go. Yeah. Don't cheat the vowel. It's got to be real. It's got to be the, the right vowel. Okay. okay. What, else? what else? Okay. And then the, the thought, the mental idea traveling right. outward. Away from yourself. Uh, and, and really fixate your eyes on something when you do this. Okay. So when you release your product, when you release your vowel, when you fixate your eyes on something in front of you. Okay. okay. That's great. Okay. You're doing good. Three more. And then cry, cry mode. Of course. Yep. That can count. Um, and, uh, well, the resonance, the, we will, I mentioned the vowel already, but the edging vowel going forward. You mentioned the, but there, that's a different discussion, isn't it? You mentioned sort of the training color is a, okay. Yes. It's just a vowel happens to be a vowel. Yes. And. And then there's the discussion about the resonance, the trajectory or the, ang the angle of the resonance, which is Kirby neutral or edging. So when you release your product, your vowel, your vowel needs to be doing what, Eric? It needs to be placed forward. Yes. Yeah, it needs to be placed forward. And we call that what? Placing the vowel, the re consciously placing the resonance forward is called mm hmm. Mm hmm. We already went through it. You know this. Onset. No, no, no. No, it's called edging. Edging. Yes. Okay. All right. So you're going to release that vowel, that sound color of A. A. Making eggs, and you're going to edge that resonance, which sort of just means get it forward. Okay. Okay. You're doing great. Let's hear it. Okay. Great. Now, well done. I'll give you a B plus. When you get to the F sharp, I want you to keep stay stay on the nasal for about two more counts. Okay. 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 Watch. Mm -hmm. Bye. All right. So so get there. Get to the F sharp. Sit on it. Check everything real quick. Go through a checklist. Okay, da, 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 and release. Okay? okay, go. Oh, great. That second one was a little bit brighter, a little more resonant. Okay. Feel to you. How did it feel to you? Um. It it felt good. It felt good. I think the vowel was just a eh and wasn't enough a. Yeah, you're right about that. All right, we're gonna go up um, uh, half step. Do the same thing, please. A ascending glissando on a semi occluded phonation, a nasal semi occluded phonation. Then sustain at the top and release your product. And once you release the product, you're not done. You're not done tuning your your foundation package, even even when you're in it. You're in that note. You can still, you know, I'm making sound. I'm still, yeah. You can you can tune it. You can play with the vowel. Try to make something that's absolutely pristine and perfect. Ready? Okay. Shit. No. To the G sharp. Ready? And a G or G sharp. Uh, G. My apologies. G to the G. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's a little sharp. Let's do it again. Fix your intonation. Good, 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 good. On your embouchure, I want you to collapse your embouchure a little bit, which is sort of the beginning 
the beginning of a narrow of narrowing the vowel. Okay, so remember we had that we just had that conversation about narrowing or splatting and going wide. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just ask Jim, he'll tell you that it'll be squirreling all over the place and it's and it comes out really splatty and very really ish. No, okay, it's that vowel and you get mm -hmm. yeah. do you hear how that's just a little bit warmer? Product A, yeah. product B, yeah. That's your narrowing, Jim, right there. Okay. Okay. You hear that? The yeah, I did hear by that. far is is warmer, rounder, matches the chest voice better, more stable, more beautiful. Eric, your turn. Go go up there. When you release your vowel, give me a horizontal embouchure, Monsieur. A horizontal embouchure. Show me a horizontal. Embouchure. You're dropping your jaw a little too much. Okay. See your canines. Canines. All right, now anchor your tongue. And you got, yay! Yay! Try that. Yay! Yeah! That's it. Go. Mm -hmm. yay! Chin up. When you release that vowel, don't. I call this a funky chicken. Like, like, okay. Sometimes. So students would kind of go, you know, do this. You don't need to do that. Stay lined up. Alexander technique. Oh, Paul, right here. You feel an invisible string. Yeah. Ready? Go. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let me help you tune your vowel. That's a little bit, it's got a little too much ah in it. Trade that ah for uh. So you're gonna put uh, 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 uh into your a. Does that make sense? Yes, yes. Okay, we are, it's a cocktail of sound color, okay? The Good. ishness is gonna narrow it more. But as far as the audience is concerned, they still think you're saying steak and eggs. Watch me now, product A. stable a little bit more round your turn ready and mm -hmm. there you go mm -hmm. ah you're in too much of a hurry you got to sit on you got to sit on that nasal a little bit longer <laughs> Get stable. Don't be in a hurry. Okay. Then go. Make sure it's all right. Be situational awareness. Mm -hmm. It's all right. Now, when it starts getting squirrely, I'm glad to see. Are you on your feet? Did you just get on your feet? I just, I just stood up. Yeah, I felt like I needed great. to stand. That is great. That is great. That's what we should all be doing. That's preferred, actually. All okay. Right. You're going to get this. When we get to a, a note or point where it's sort of like not letting us have our way, that's what we want. Uh huh. That's what we want because it's saying, it's, 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 it's saying this is a note and a vowel and a moment. This is a phonation package that needs to be worked on. Something's not right here. All right. So let's get up to that A again. I'll get on my feet too. 
Go ahead. Sit on that note, sit on it for two or three seconds, then release. You're still too much in a hurry. Sit on that note a little bit longer, please. And take in more air, you need more air. explain Eric don't, don't 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 feel bummed okay um I um I you're not aware but um here at at a at a4 on, on a4 Shit. Come back to pop up. on a4 mm -hmm. Jim I was I was hazing you a little bit Eric just a little bit so so to speak by the way you're doing great you're doing fine at a4 we have to make radical changes because there's a big format shift at A4. Jim, what happens at A4? Um, is that going into the second the second passaggio? Well, yeah, I mean, sort of. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a it's a format shift. Yeah, but you start adding a little more a ah into your a. Yeah. So, um, male voice physiology at A4 things need to be adjusted again, pretty pretty much. Okay. So uh, two things you want. I want you to do it again. I, I will accompany you. Okay. Okay. We're gonna go to this A four and we're gonna slow this thing down. You just need to slow down. Okay. You're a drummer, correct? Um, more of a pianist than than drummer, but I, I play some drums. Yeah. Okay. But when you play piano, if you so when you play piano or keyboards, if you're working on a riff or a scale. Surely, in your journey as a musician in training, there have been moments where somebody coached you and told you, or you coached and told yourself to, this thing has to get to be, this thing has to be fast, but I'm going to do it slow first so I can build the motor skills and, and, and make sure that everything's happening, right? Absolutely, yeah. Mostly. That's a recurring theme in music for all instruments, and it lives on for singing, too. People don't realize okay. Okay. okay, so we're just gonna slow down. Okay, slow down so you can feel it and hear it and figure out what they so you can see it as it passes by and figure out what the hell do I need to do to make this better. Okay. okay, and then when you release your vowel, here's the trick when you release your vowel, I want you to tune in a little bit of ah, 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 ah. Okay? okay, if you okay. don't tune in a little bit of at ah ishness into your a ishness, then what will happen is is for a lot of people, uh, you'll get instability problems and your voice will break. Okay, okay. Okay, so you have to tune the format for this new exotic frequency we call A4. You have to accommodate for it. All right, it's not gonna, it's the physics. It's not gonna let you get by unless you put a little bit of at ish, you put some at in your eggs. All right, okay. put some ants in your eggs. Put some ants in your eggs. Your okay, eggs. ready? Real slow, and then when we get that A4, ants in your eggs. Okay. Right there, right there, right there, right there. If you hadn't slowed down, I wouldn't have heard it. That second note, you're opening your glottis. You did okay. that. releasing your cry mode you're releasing your compression unknowingly all right don't let the glottis blow open okay It's okay. Let's go into the A sharp or, or to the A, excuse me. All right, we're going to go to our onsets. 
We're going to use the onsets as a tool to fix the problem, to explore and fix the issue. Okay. okay. We've tried this a few times. It's a good idea. Come back to it in five or 10 minutes. All right. It's okay. fine. But right now we're going to, we're going to use the onset to, to troubleshoot. Okay. okay. Sometimes one of the, one of the best onsets that gives you a win really quickly, mm -hmm. um, arguably the onset that gives you a quick win quickly, which then allows you to sort of get there and look around and say, oh, okay, okay, now I, now I can feel it. I can feel the placement, I can feel the vowel, I can feel the resonance on the A4, but were it not for this one particular onset, I wouldn't have even been able to get there to begin to sort of make a connection with it. Does this make sense? Yeah, absolutely. All yeah. right, Jim, what onset would that be? Attack and release. Oh, I mean, it's not a bad answer. It's, uh, but it's a little too aggressive. Think, think. We just want to get there. Just we don't want to build strength of the of the compression and things like that right now for him. We just um, want to get there. Just get there. Quack and release. No, not two, bad, but straight no. Two. <laughs> straight two. Straight um, Right. Uh, to get there. We just want um, to. Get Oh, it's, it's wind really, and release. It's, benign. it's very soft, soft, it's benign. It's not one of these. Wind, wind, wind and release. That's it. That's it. That's it. Okay. All right. Wind and release, or um, an spirit. We call it a spirit. Um, put put an H in front of it. Okay. So watch, watch me. Now I'm not gonna just go. Ah! It doesn't work that way. Okay. I'm gonna cue myself. I'm going to stop. I'm going to that note, my mind's eye, my mind's ear. I'm going to then, I've anchored my tongue. I'm placing my embouchure. I'm looking away from me at something. I'm, I'm anchoring my legs. I'm kind of getting in a nice position. I'm inhaling to get my fuel. Came in with wind. It came in with an open glottis or an H. Okay, that's a wind and release onset. The wind and release onset is it's a soft onset. It's not one of these muscle muscle ones that we've done a lot of work with. Okay, mm -hmm. it's a soft onset and one of its best. It's a best tool. It's a best tool in the toolbox to so just get there. Okay. Just land on it, regardless of what it sounds like when you get there. Just to land on your feet and then then you can start. Playing with things, okay? So we're gonna try a wind and release onset on that A and have you be able to sustain that that A4. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, posture. Mm -hmm. Let's go through our let's prepare. Let's go through our onset package flight checklist. Okay. Note frequency. I'm hearing it. Good. Posture. Anchor your tongue. Set your umpa short. That looks really, really pretty good. Okay, take a breath and then just give it a nice big hey. Hey! Hey! There you go. Here's your A4. Okay, let's do it again. So, you nailed it. Now let's do it five times. Something like this. Hey! 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 Hang on. So I'm, I'm, I'm coming from the top down, and then I want you to relax. Relax a little bit. Let's get a little bit softer on it. Come in from the top down. Get the wind moving first before you bring the vocal folds together to vocalize. Okay, so it's windy. It's open glottis for like a for like a second. Then you bring the folds in versus that, which is eventually where we want to go. But right now, hey, sort of a sort of a Mr. Default check. Ready and 
Hey! Here we go. Again. Hey! Okay. You gotta get your you gotta get your wind moving um uh quicker, faster, more okay. wind. Okay. Hey! That's a really good one. Okay, okay, cool. All right, so there's your so so now what you might want to do is is try this. Can you buzz on this thing? Can we can we now pivot to the nasal to the tracking and go and still come in with the wind? Ready and keep it in your head voice. Again. Stand up straight. Stand up straight. Uh, I gave you that. I'm doing this. I don't want you. I, I, okay. I can do that. I don't want you to do that. Right. Stand up okay. straight. Uh, soften a little bit. There you go. See a couple more times, please. You'll notice that on this note, the body seems to be a little confused. It's asking you, like you're the boss, all right? Okay. And it's saying, correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I've seen this in my own voice and in, in students, it's sort of confused. It's saying, boss, do you want me to go here or do you want me to go here? Mm -hmm. Do you want me to go sort of, sort of like low and pull it? Or do you want oh. me to kind of go into this more floatier, heady position? Right. I know, I know you're feeling that. Yeah. So the answer in this case is you're gonna to go to the heady position. Go to the heady position. Go to the heady position, all right? Go to okay. a, a false head away position, all right? Do it again, please. And if, and if it wants to go, then la, 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 la. Yep. Okay. La, 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 la. Mm, go, go, just, just, just free yourself and just float, float in the head voice, please. Ready? Okay. Ready? <laughs> Too aggressive. Oh, okay. Mm, sweeten it. Um, there you go. Again. Um, okay, that's great. Now, let's see if we can get that that tickle in your lips again. Remember when we were down on a lower lower note? All mm -hmm. right. So watch me. You're gonna you're gonna bring in you're gonna bring in the other elements on the onset package. You're gonna you're gonna bring in your cry mode. You're gonna bring in the you're gonna get some buzz going on your on your lips. That probably will necessitate that you increase your respiration a bit. Please, ready and go, go. <laughs> One thing at a time. Workflow. <laughs> Do it in a workflow. Okay. Um, Better. You're still dry. You're still, you're still dry. You're still, you're still angry at it. You're, you're okay, still too determined to get it. Chill it out. You can't yeah. beat the physics. Brute strength will not win okay. when we're doing this kind of work. Okay. And usually not win in most other situations. Okay. If you want to like, like do a hellish scream in a recording or something, it might be cool, but like not what we're doing right now. All right. So nice and sweet. Free it up. That's a good balance. Not too light, not too hard. You're, you're finding an equilibrium. Do it again, please. Make your lips vibrate. One more time. Let's get your energy up forward. It would be the it'd be the equivalent of an edging position with your mouth closed. Okay. Let's get it forward. There's a little bit of sort of throatiness going on. So if if we can move the tongue around and get get the get the get the energy up against the lips, please. Okay. 
Too strong. You're slapping the water. It's too. It's too hard. The physics are gonna push back on you. You're slapping the water. Go slow. Go easy. Easy on it. Um. That's it. That's it. Okay. I know you're getting maybe getting a little tired. So let's just go ahead and let's go ahead and release this guy. Okay. If we can, I want you to release into a horizontal embouchure. Leverage your tongue. Um, and because it is that note. So your so our our performance vowel is a. The audience still hears steak and eggs, okay? All right, but you're gonna dial in just a pinch of a in your a, and you get this. It's okay. When it sounds crappy, that doesn't always mean that it's wrong. Okay. That's an important lesson with vocal training. Okay. okay. Go through all the right movements in that onset package and have it all right. And it's 90% right. Yes, it didn't sound good. But that's not always means that everything else you did was wrong. Okay. okay. I liked it actually. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's, let's do it again, please. And let's just try to Maybe you leverage, and then now you start sort of playing with things. Maybe you leverage your tongue a little bit more. Maybe, uh, maybe you try crying a little bit harder into it. Let's see if we can get the vocal folds to connect. Okay. Um, All right. Be true to your vowel. The vowel is a, not a. Don't move around. Hold the vowel. Okay. I think you're retracting your tongue. I think I see you pulling your tongue back. Okay. Don't do that uh -huh. before. May. May. Okay, great. Well done. Actually, that top A doesn't sound great. We don't care. We don't care. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Your your onset package. Um, I mean, we, we care, but it's not important. The important thing is, is that you get that onset package up and running, okay? So here's what I want you to do until I see you again next month, okay? I want you to play around with these ideas. I want you to be mindful that you're not just making noise, okay? Like your dog or your cat, all right? That's not what we're doing. We have, in the methodology, we've dissected all the elements not all of them maybe, but darn near all, a lot of them, required that have to work in concert together to get this freakish, specialized human sound that we need for singing, but it's not speaking, right? Mm -hmm. okay. So just be thinking about onset packages and, and phonation packages and the elements therein, right? Okay. That's gonna really open your mind and get you really mindful literally okay. on okay. your techniques okay right. mm -hmm. um keep crying that never ends okay. uh work on the horizontal embouchure and when you release your vowels both you guys i want you to work on narrowing the vowels a little bit don't get splatty don't go that that get keep it keep it sort of contained okay okay because you get mm -hmm. more strength and more rounded dark color from that okay okay and then um Eric, I want you to go into the training program and I want you to watch the videos and the training for the attack and release on set. Okay. Your glottal attack. And, okay. and in your homework, I want you to watch the video demonstration and train it, the wind and release on set. Okay. Kind of the two onsets at the, at the at the absolute extremes. One coming in with an open glottis. It's a soft approach. It's it's the feminine side, and the attack and release is sort of the masculine side where we're going to do controlled uh, glottal 
collateral crashes with, with cry mode. Okay. Okay. Great. And um, you'll feel progress guaranteed. Great. Great. Jim, I thought you did good today. I thought I, 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 this I, was I, this was. Thank you. I, I this was a great lesson for me because I'm actually very excited to to get to the book and and narrow the vowels and and yeah. you know get a handle on this on this phrase because I think uh, it's a hard phrase you know yeah well it's like dances around the F sharp and it's always that way yeah. isn't it like like when you, when you that 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 one song you want to sing that one part you really like you go damn why is it so difficult and you go over and you look at oh here we are again. F yeah, sharp, and even, you know, F sharp and E, you know, it's just like, ah, it's so different. yeah, yeah. And even you can hear Paul McCartney the second time he has to sing that, his voice gets a little weird. Like, like, even he, you know, when he was young, like, still faltered just a little teeny bit sure. on, on that line. Well, sure, he's a human being, yes. So, I mean, yeah, so I mean, F sharp is, um, it's tricky, man, it's tricky. People think the higher you go. They, I mean, people that don't have training and sort of, you know, whatever they kind of assume and it's no foul. It sort of seems logical. The higher I go, the more difficult the note is going to be. It's not, it's not, it's not really the case. It's, 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 it's those low head tones. It's that the, the, the E, the F sharp right there, right in that area. That, so that that E flat, E, F sharp are the most difficult notes to stabilize. And then once you get past them, like an hourglass, once you get past that, the G and the G sharp can start opening up again until, Eric, you get to that A and you have to sort of, you know, fuss with it a little bit. But uh, uh, G and G sharp are so much easier than, um, than E or F sharp mm -hmm. uh, in my book. But anyways, okay. Are you guys solid, Jim? I like that narrowing vowel. I've been looking for. I've really been. You've been quite a project. I've really been. I don't get. I don't get stumped very often, dude. Like and and you have left me left me idea less from. I, I have that effect on people. <laughs> yeah, um, but I kind of. But I liked what we were doing there. So let's let's think about that because it, it's it's not only. It's not about the aesthetic. That it's not about so much about the color of the vowel, although it is better that way. It's about how narrowing the vowel creates a sympathetic reaction inside, and it's giving you a little more stability um, and and just in all of that. So, no, I, I feel like we're like we're getting closer. I feel like we're getting closer, and I, so I, this was a great lesson for me. So I appreciate it very much. You know, you're welcome. You're welcome, Eric. Any parting thoughts no uh other than uh I, I would reiterate that great lesson for me watching jim and uh and the work that you did with me really feels great so i'm excited to go back look at the program and yeah move forward yeah thank you very much well you're welcome very much um i'll see you guys um next month right so so you'll post this on the on the on the page in, inside the website um well, that's a good question, Jim. I, I, I've gotten out of the habit of doing that, but yeah, I'd be happy to. Yeah. Yeah, I would like you to just because, uh, you know, keep the inspiration going. Yeah, right. sure. Be happy to. Happy to. Uh, Eric, inside the um, the live coaching environment in the website, you may have seen it. There's a tab. It says resources, I think. And then there's cool things you can get to. One of the things is a, a private um, YouTube channel where... Where I take all of these, I upload them so that you guys can watch each other train. Yeah, yeah, I look forward to seeing it. Okay, okay, very cool, guys. Um, enjoy your weekend. Thank yes. you. Yes. All right. Thanks a lot. See you in a month. All right. Bye bye. Okay. See you.